I've been noticing lately that uh, the bigger and used to be dominant Piraiva has been bearing a lot of bite marks on her, on it. And over the many days of observing, I think it's the other Piraiva. The table's turned because the lighter colored Piraiba used to be the submissive one and the darker colored one slightly bigger one always ate better and gave the submissive one some grief but now the the former alpha <laughs> it's all beaten up there's so many bite marks on her and the fins, so many scuffs and abrasions. Right now they're calm because I turned the light on, but uh, I did catch the beta paraiba. This one coming up, lighter colored one. Giving chases, chasing the, the other one. That's kind of unexpected and uh, unusual turn of events. I hope this is some kind of seasonal and it will subside, but right now that Piraiba is worrying me. She has received, it has received rather vicious bites on the dorsal, on the upper lobe of the tail. Those are the worst places. And then a lot of scuffs and light abrasions on the body. They ate very well yesterday, both of them. They're big tummies. So this is either hierarchy or gender related behavior. This one got a rip in the pelvic fin, but other than that, it's pretty intact. At some point it got so bad that the Beta Piraiba, if, if, if you might remember, I had to take it out of this 4500 gallon. And it spent probably a couple of years in that 240 gallon in the back because it was getting beaten up too, too badly. While the Alpha Piraiba remained here and ruled the tank. But for the last, I would say, couple of weeks, the table's completely turned 180. I'm going to have to think about what to do. See, I hope you caught it, caught it like the, right now the Alpha Piraiba sped up to get away from the Beta Piraiba when they got close, got close to each other. See, again, she's, she's going to drive, she's going to, the Alpha is going to swim away. I have witnessed the Alpha dart away from the Beta Piraiba.
so often there are unexpected things happening that you can only understand them or think about them in, in the retrospect. The Beta Piraiba was transferred to this tank, I want to say, almost a year ago. And everything has been fine for whatever it was, 10 months? Maybe a full year, everything has been fine. They live together, no problem. If anything, in the beginning the Alpha was dominating the Beta Piraiba a little bit. What caused this 180 degree change? I don't know, hard to say, and the uh, Alpha is still bigger. Because as I said, it it was a it was it fed better than the beta because beta was more skittish because of the dominance by the alpha paraiba. So alpha paraiba grew grew bigger and faster. It's probably about one and a half times by weight larger than the, the beta paraiba. Maybe they have different uh, genders. I don't know their genders. If I had to guess, I'd say that the, the alpha is the female and the beta is the male.